my dear friends, my name is still the same, Kirill, and I'm one of those software engineers who strive and try to learn something new every day. I hope you are the same, that's why you are on my channel. By the way, my today's topic will not be about something that I have learned today, despite I learned quite a lot. But on the other side, today I found out that my mentee is confused when he is choosing between joins and includes in Ruby on Rails, and that will be my topic for today's short video. I hope after this video you will be pretty confident which to use and uh, more of that you will remember it for your whole life or at least until Ruby on Rails will change its API. Oh, and actually tomorrow is a holiday, so today I'm drinking this awesome wine. For past few months I tried to find some Georgian wine and I finally got this one. It's a fresh separati. As you may see, it has a dark and bloody color. It's pretty dense, but what you cannot feel via YouTube, at least for now, at least on the moment when I'm recording this video, is the taste of this wine. It is very gentle with a berry taste and a bit bitter, but just slightly bitter aftertaste. Yeah, I can definitely recommend this one. It is there. Okay. Mm. Okay, I should switch back to engineering, I'm sorry. So, two main methods, two main Ruby, Rails methods, bringing all this confusion to different kinds of folks all around the world are joints and includes. That's weird. Yeah? Okay. You will, you will understand why do I use these two weird things. They both serve the same idea and they kind of clue together some parent model and some child model. For instance, you have authors, you have books, and you want to find all authors who ever wrote a book which contains a title, which contains a word adventure in its title. It will be a pretty big collection, isn't it? How would I express it in Rails? I expect that here will appear some snippet showing you how to implement it using joins. Or maybe this one with includes. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. The latest one doesn't work actually. You have to add one more thing to be able to reference the books in your where clause. Here is the updated one. Okay, but that doesn't change much. We still should somehow understand and remember how to distinguish them. Just to note, here I am assuming that you actually know the difference between includes and joins. But you just struggle with how to remember actually, how to actually remember it. If you still don't know what is the difference, I can only encourage you to go to Google and search for Ruby on Rails joins and includes n plus one query. I think the query should appear here. Stop, 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 stop! Don't leave the video now. Let's first remember the general rule. Firstly, we should understand what are those two options we are selecting from. They both will return us authors which have the word adventure in any title of their books. But in one case, it will just filter through them, and in another case, it will filter and load them. I'm speaking about books. Should I maybe rephrase it? In one case we are filtering them, in another case we are including them and filtering on those two. Is it still difficult to remember? I'll give you one more cue. Do I want to include child results? Obviously I should use includes. If I don't want to include child results, I use joins. Couple of things to add. What is actually the reason why you may want to include child results? You want it if you want to access them afterwards. Like in our example, if you don't want just to filter through authors, but you also want to display their books. But what if you don't need those books? What if you just want to display authors? Then use joins. It's much faster. 
there are more subtle differences and if you're interested in this topic you can easily find them. The main idea, the main purpose of this video was to help you to actually remember them. And I almost forgot. You're probably still confused why I use these two strange things. Let's start with this one. It is a Russian traditional doll, which name in English is Russian doll. Eh? It's strange because the actual name of this doll is Matryoshka. And the main idea of Matryoshka is that it contains another Matryoshka in it. So it includes another Matryoshka in it. You see the point. And this is a Finn, the guy from animation series Adventure Time. And he's quite a cool guy and he has a lot of friends and he joins all of them together. That's why he joins and includes... Oh, I screwed up the Matryoshka. I'm sorry. Was it weird? Or that's exactly the right level? Please tell me in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. I recently found out that I didn't answer a couple of comments and I'm really sorry for that. I will do this right after publishing this video. Have all the best! And if you're celebrating 1st of May, have a great celebration! See you tomorrow! I hope see you tomorrow. Oh, I really hope that I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, my friend.